What if our greatest achievement, the creation of artificial intelligence, is the beginning of humanity's end? What if the rise of cyborgs and AI isn't a futuristic dystopia, but the first step toward our replacement? We must ask not if AI will overtake us, but when and how, and more importantly, why? The idea of machines that mimic human intelligence, or serve as our guardians, dates back to ancient mythology. The legend of Talos, the bronze guardian of Crete, who was said to walk the island, defending its villages, created in mind of man. More than simply a myth. Ancient inventors, like Hero of Alexandria, created the first functional automaton an elegant bronze woman who poured water and wine from an urn as an offering. These early inventions were both a feat of imagination and the first attempts at creating human-like machines. Fast forward to the Renaissance, where Leonardo da Vinci's designs for a mechanical knight would lay the groundwork for modern robotics. Though the knight was never built, its human form and engineered articulating limbs signified a step towards the realization of animatronic machines. In the 18th century, clockwork automatons became the height of engineering art. Pierre and Henri-Louis Jacquet Drou created intricate, human-like machines that could write, draw, and even play music. These wind-up machines, built with Swiss watch-level technology, captured the imagination of the public, blending art with engineering in a way never seen before. But for all their complexity, these early automatons were just the beginning. Just over two centuries later, robots like Sophia would blur the lines between art, technology, and humanity itself. But what happens when these machines no longer merely mimic humans, but begin to think and learn for themselves? For the first time ever, Magnus Carlsen will face a chess-playing robot. One X Technologies let me borrow their humanoid robot for a day. It's designed to help humans with household chores. But can it also beat the best chess player in the world? In the modern world, artificial intelligence has become more than just a tool. In fact, it's now beginning to surpass human abilities in many fields. AI systems can now play chess better than grandmasters diagnose diseases faster than doctors, and even compose music. But is this just the beginning? Is it possible that what started as a tool designed to help us will eventually evolve into a force capable of melding with us, or even replacing us? But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. In the 21st century, we're faced with two competing visions of the future. One where humanity and AI co-evolve advancing together, and another where AI becomes so advanced that it pushes humanity aside. The warnings from thinkers like Musk and Hawking suggest a troubling possibility. AI's success could lead to our downfall. But there's more at play here. As AI technology evolves, it's not just about machines taking over physical labor or making decisions. AI is now beginning to shape our values, our beliefs, and our culture. One of the most significant cultural shifts today is the rise of woke culture, centered around the concept of intersectionality, a movement that focuses on the interconnected nature of social identities like race, gender, and class. On the surface, this movement advocates for equality, for fairness, and for inclusion. 
But what happens when the very AI systems we create are designed to enforce these values, even at the expense of individual freedoms? What happens when AI becomes the arbiter of what's right and wrong in society? Will we find ourselves living in a world where our thoughts and behaviors are dictated by algorithms designed to promote one set of values over others? If one considers cancel culture as an example, would the expression of an alternative idea or philosophy not approved by the AI lead to the cancelling of the individual's access to food, water or shelter? Not too unlike the Roman punishment of ostracization. No food, shelter or fire given within the empire. AI's role in society is expanding faster than we can keep up with. From self-driving cars to AI-assisted decision-making in finance, healthcare, and even warfare, machines are becoming the overseers of the modern world. But the question is, how much and of what will we allow them to control? Will we even perceive it's happening? As society becomes more reliant on AI, are we setting the stage for a future where our values, our choices, and even our humanity are wholly managed by machines? The rise of AI is inevitable, and as we march toward this new age, we must be prepared to face the consequences of creating machines that may one day see us as obsolete. We've come so far in creating machines that think, but at what cost? The future is fast approaching, and it may be more dangerous than we imagined. Will we control the machines, or will they control us? The next chapter is already unfolding,